Okay, so, all right. So we're going to be doing the paper weaving assignment next, all right, with the baskets. And we're going to weave these baskets. And we're going to do them out of newspaper, right? Some of you have probably done this already. How many here have done this already, maybe in middle school or whatever? Okay, two or three, okay. Some nice art teachers that did that for you. But basically, we are going to, out of newspaper, strips of newspaper and some sticks, we're going to make little rods and then these newspaper rods we glue them together and then from there we will begin to weave a basket so this uh, powerpoint is just very simply just to explain the materials of what we're going to use we're going to use some sticks some newspaper glue in the beginning i'll explain later about these diagrams of how we begin the base of a basket but some of the things we're going to be learning is the weaving to weave what, are, what is considered warp and what is considered weft. Warp are the main, like the ribs of like a basket or the, uh, the, the, the warp strings for weaving uh, fabric. What goes in and out like this, that is considered the weft. So I'll, I'll uh, make copies of these diagrams to show you how you begin your basket, okay? Uh, but basically what we do is we start off with a strip, we start off with a stick, it could be even a pencil, okay, as long as it doesn't have the clip that you use on the pencil, it has to be nice and smooth. And what we do is we start off with a 45 degree angle, yes, 45, but if you don't have a 45, no, that's wrong, yes, no, okay, so what we do is we begin rolling. You have it there on the corner edge. You pinch it forward a little bit and you start rolling. All right. But I am going to explain to you that when you're rolling, um, one of the techniques you want to think about is that you have, you know, you pinch your fingers like this and you hold it here very loosely while you're rolling. So this keeps this down firm. And the pencil or the wooden stick, you always have it where you leave a little bit because otherwise you're not going to be able to pull it out. Okay, you're going to see. The first two or three rods that you make are not going to be that great. They're for throwing away or redoing it again. Once you've done that, okay, right here, this is where you're going to put just a little dab of glue. Not a lot, just a little dab of glue. And then when you roll it, right there, you're going to hold it, and then you let go, and then there's your rod, your newspaper rod. So we start off with eight sticks. We do it this way, and then what happens is uh, the fourth stick over here, we start wrapping it, and we begin doing the base this way. It goes around, under, over, around, and after we've done that first button of a layer, right, of just weaving it in there, and we'll put some glue back here too, just to get those things in there, then we begin the weaving process. And this one stick that you see that's purple, this is the stick that you will feed rods to. It's gonna be like the snake that you keep feeding because you're gonna start wrapping it around. And you're gonna go in, over, under, over, under. So this may look confusing, but it's just to tell you the checkering, right? So over is red, under is blue. Over red, under blue. And so you're checkering, you know, the weft, the, the weaving. All right? And we begin this way. And this could be considered the snake that you keep feeding sticks to. And it keeps going round and round. At some point, these rods that are out here, the ribs of your basket, you will start to have to curve them upward. So that way you can start going up your vessel or your basket. If you need to add sticks, which we, we will talk about later, you do that with this wrapping rod that's going around it. You start to clip new rods in there. All right? Okay. So, back to what we are doing. And you're going to be making many, many sticks. For those of you that are finished today, you are doing this first. You're getting the strip of paper, you're rolling it, and then you're adding a dab of glue. Okay? That's what many of you are doing today that are super finished. And it looks like this. We're going to use these kind of papers, right? And I've got plenty of newspaper, 
And what we do is when you get the newspaper, if you don't have any of this, when you get the newspaper, you're going to cut the edge that has the fold on the newspaper, and then you're going to cut the newspaper in half. Not too much, but I'll give a short demo on that. I'll record a short demo and put it also up in Edmodo. All right, so those of you that are done already with your project and ready to start this, you're just making rods. I have rubber bands there. You're going to wrap your rods with the rubber band, and then you're going to get a piece of paper or a piece of, of uh, yeah, a piece of paper, write your name and the period, and you will staple it around or wrap it around the rubber band. We'll talk about that. Or your Ziploc bags that you guys are supposed to have, you can stick all your rods in there, and then we lock it up in the closet. All right? Um, I think that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. And I will be grading today you, the other people's projects.